In this video, you are going to learn a simple step-by-step -step guide on how to calculate the quantity of cement, sand and water required for plastering. Learning how to calculate the quantity of cement, sand and water required for plastering is a powerful skill that you should know so as to avoid guesswork that may lead to either overestimation or underestimation. First of all, let's first clearly understand what plaster means. Plaster simply means a mixture of cement, sand or lime and water normally applied to the surfaces of walls. When the same mixture is applied to the interior surface of a wall, it's called plastering. And when the same mixture is applied to the exterior surface of the wall, it's called rendering. And this brings us to the question, how much cement, sand and water do I need to cast plaster to a given wall? And you do that in 5 easy steps. The first step is to find the area of the wall. Considering a wall of 10 meters along the length and 3 meters along its height, the total area here is 30 square meters. Consider plaster thickness of 12 millimeters. The thickness of plaster usually ranges from 10 millimeters to 15 millimeters, but generally goes for 12 millimeters. Also, consider plaster mix ratio of 1 to 4, that is, 1 part of cement and 4 parts of sand. The second step is to find the volume of the plaster, that is, area multiplied by thickness. This is equal to 30 meters squared multiplied by 0.012 meters to get volume of the plaster as 0.36 meters cubed. Add 20% for filling joints and other deformed areas on the wall to get total as 0.43 meters cubed. Remember this is weight volume, this is what we exactly cast on the wall. But then, what do we purchase? We purchase sand and cement which is in dry volume state. For example, this is dry volume sand because it has no water in it and this is dry volume cement because it has no water in it. To convert wet volume into dry volume, we simply multiply the wet volume by a constant factor 1.33 that is 0.432 meters cubed multiplied by 1.33 to get 0.57 meters cubed. Step 3 is to find the volume of cement alone in the whole mixture. Considering a mortar mix ratio of 1 to 4, that is, 1 part of cement and 4 parts of sand, the total ratio here is 5, meaning cement is taking 1 part out of 5. Volume of cement in the mixture is equal to volume of the whole mixture divided by total ratio multiplied by the ratio of cement. When we feed in these figures here, we get the volume of cement alone in the whole mixture as 0.1149 meters cubed. Weight of cement is equal to volume multiplied by density. Consider density of cement as 1440 kilograms per meters cubed to get weight of cement as 165.456 kilograms. One bag of cement is 50 kilograms, meaning we get the total weight of cement in the whole mixture divided by the weight of one bag of cement to get four bags of cement. Step 4 is to find out the volume of the sand required in the whole mixture. Volume of sand alone in the whole mixture is equal to volume of the whole mixture divided by the total ratio multiplied by the ratio of sand to get 0.4596 cubic meters. Weight of sand is equal to volume multiplied by density. Considering the density of sand to be 1,600 kilograms per meters cubed, weight of sand here will be equal to 736 kilograms. Step 5 is to find out the quantity of water required, which is simply equal to 20% of the dry weight, which is equal to 20% of the weight of sand plus the weight of cement, to get 180 liters. In other words, for a wall of 10 meters along its length and 3 meters along the height, you purchase 4 bags of cement, you purchase 736 kilograms of sand and 180 liters of water to plaster the wall. In summary, when finding out the quantity of cement, sand and water for plastering, step 1 is to find the area of the wall, step 2 is to find the volume of the plaster you want to use, step 3 is to find out the volume of cement alone in the dry mixture. Step 4 is to find out the volume of sand alone in the dry mix and step 5 is to find out the quantity of water to be used in the mixture. That's all about finding out the quantity of sand, cement and water required for plastering. I hope you get something from it. If this video was helpful to you in any way, kindly hit that subscribe button. I would really really appreciate it.
watch this next video about how to calculate the quantity of sand and cement required to build walls that is for block work and brick work.